Hello, my name is Li Yu Tsai. I'm part of ScienceLogic support team. In this video, I'd like to share information about load and sizing for collector appliances. We're going to look through system requirements page, what's causing load on collectors, impact of having insufficient resources on collector, how to add resources properly to ScienceLogic appliances, and cover some support gadgets. Here's how our system requirements page looks like on our site. You can find that under Documentation System Requirements. As you can see, it has various sections that describe deployment on various hypervisors, our hardware appliances, sizing for cloud-based deployment, and collector sizing section to show impact of various types of devices. Here's extract from the pages related to virtual and cloud deployments. You can see minimum requirements here, but those are real bare minimums. When you have resource constraints and just need try, and start with something, you can use those bare minimums. But our recommendations is always use a little bit more resources to make sure that you have better experience and avoid any issues with load. Here's a tab for collector sizing. You may notice that different types of devices cause different loads on collector. For example, Windows devices monitored using PowerShell require much more resources. And that's because every Windows device has much more dynamic applications with lots of collection objects, and WinRM is much slower than SNMP collections in most cases. As to the question on what's causing the load on collectors, it's mostly time spent collecting data. Nightly discovery or scheduled rediscovery process can also cause load due to number of devices that needs to be rediscovered. Spamming devices can cause issues with event engine or data pool and will be generating a lot of alerts. So what happens when the collector is overloaded? You have missed polls that result in gappy data and you also miss events. Not sufficient memory can cause DB corruption due to MariaDB process being killed. Spamming devices or insufficient storage space can cause database full issue. Here's a KB article that describes how to properly add resources. It should apply to collectors as well as databases. Here are some gotchas that I wanted to share with you. You can reduce retention settings to keep less data on collectors. If data is not synchronized to a database, it's not deleted, even if it exceeds retention settings. So don't be afraid of setting it lower. Exception is when collector load balancing triggers, then the data is purged during your balance to avoid duplicate data to be pulled or generated. It's not a good idea to have too many devices in a single collector group, as it will extend the time to rebalance and during that time you're not collecting. I would recommend two to five collectors per collector group. You do need to have sufficient number of collectors in collector group to avoid overload when some collectors go down. For example, if you have 5,000 devices and you deploy collectors with recommended 1,000 devices per collector, and expect up to two collectors to go down, you will need to deploy a total of seven collectors, five collectors that will handle the load, and two additional to provide redundancy when two collectors will go down. CPU to memory ratio is also important because we use CPU count to spawn a number of simultaneous worker processes. If you will have too many CPUs, we will spawn too many processes and you will run out of memory. Sick terms in some cases, it doesn't mean that you have high CPU or memory load, but it's just you're running out of time. We have a separate video on this topic, so please check that out. New releases added important tracking of some additional metrics that will help troubleshoot seek terms. Those metrics are also used with new load balancing mechanism, and they will help us to quickly detect problematic devices or applications. It's always recommended to run on new release. To summarize, we went through the collector sizing, impact of incorrect sizing, some resources that are available on our support site. We also went through some common gotchas related to collector load. Thank you for listening.